Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's time for you to join me, Captain Nello, so we can continue our grand adventure where we learn our letters and their sounds, also have fun while we spell and improve our reading. On our adventure today, we will read, enjoy, and discover a new letter and words. So I hope you're getting warmer. Let's check this out. Remember, on our last lesson, we did a special letter. We looked at the big, bold B. Can you remember the letter B? Yes. And we learned that letter B makes the sound B. B. Letter B is used to spell words such as bear and ball. Letter B is the second letter of the alphabet. We also learned that letter B is known as a consonant. So if you missed our last lesson, I hope that you could go back and catch up on the things we learned for letter B. Today, our adventure would take us somewhere new. Would it be on C? Well, let's see, because today we are looking at the letter C. Do you know letter C? Letter C, it's the third letter of the alphabet. Have you seen that letter before? Letter C, like letter B, is also known as a consonant. Letter C makes the song And C makes that sound in words such as k cat. It also makes the sound in the word k car. And then we have k carrot. Let's say those names again. We have k cat. Then we have k car. We also have Carrot. Do you know of any other word that begins with the letter C? I am sure you do. Now, before we go further, now that we know what our letter C looks like, we know the sound that letter C makes, let's try to write the letter C. So, grab your book and grab your pencil as we practice writing our letter for today. Now, like the other letters, letter C can be uppercase or capital, as well as it can be lowercase or common. So we can have uppercase C and we can have lowercase C. So are you ready to practice writing? Look carefully at how the uppercase C is formed. Now that you have seen how it is formed, you try writing it on your own. Great job. Now try writing the lowercase C. While writing the lowercase c is similar to writing the uppercase c, you ensure that it is smaller. So, look again and see how the lowercase c is being written and then you will try on your own. Did you try that? Great job! Are you ready for story time? Well, I'm excited to read this story for you today. So I want you to sit back. I want you to relax and listen to me read this story. While I read again today, I want you to try and find some of the words 
that begin with letter C. So our story today is the cat and the cow. The cat and the cow. Do you know what a cat is? Have you ever seen a cat? I'm sure some persons have a cat as a pet. Do you know what a cow is? Well, I'm not sure that we all know, but we should know. So if you don't know, I hope that we could show you what a cow is today. But listen to the story. There was a fat cat who lived on the farm. One day, the cat woke up hungry and went to the barn. The cat waited as the farmer arrived in his blue car. He gave the cat a lot of milk. The farmer got the milk from the cow. The cat became happy. The cat wanted to thank the cow. So the cat said, meow. The cow responded with, moo. So there you had it, my friends. That was our story, the cat and the cow. Now, did you see how the cat said thank you for the milk he received from the cow? Yes, the cat said meow. And how did the cow respond? Moo. So they have their own way of talking. Now back to our fancy letter for today, C. Did you find any words that begin with letter C? Let's see what you found and if they match the ones that we've identified. Did you find the word cat? If you did, great job. What about car? Then there was also cow. Now, if you notice, we have those words repeating themselves in the story. So the more you see them, the more you learn them. So cat, which is spelled C-A-T. Then we have car, which is spelled C-A-R, car. We also had cow, which is spelled C-O-W. So there you had your story for today, the cat and the cow. Now it's time for that very fun activity. Let's try to see if you can find those treasures that begin with letter C. Look at these pictures and identify the ones that start with C. Or try to remember the sound that the letter C would make when you say it. So as you say the name of the picture, you listen for the k sound at the beginning of its name. So let's name these pictures before we try to find them. We have a cup. We have a cup. Fan. Fan. Cow. Cow. Dog, dog, cake, cake. Now, do you know any of these words that begin with the letter C? Let's see the ones that you've identified. Did you choose the cup? If you did, you're absolutely correct. Cup is spelled C-U-P. C-U-P spells cup. Did you choose the cow? Yes, if you were paying attention, you would have remembered cow from our story. And like I said, if you don't know what a cow is, well, you could see what one looks like in this picture. Cow is spelled C-O-W, cow. Did you choose the dog? Did you? No, dog does not begin with 
the letter C. What about the cake? I'm sure that you know that cake begins with letter C. C-A-K-E, cake. So there you had it. Our words that begin with letter C are cup, cow, and cake. Let's say them again. Cup, which is spelled C-U-P, cow, which is spelled C-O-W, and cake, which is spelled C-A-K-E. Well, I'm sure that you will have some cake sometime this week to eat. And I hope that you will enjoy it. So there we had it, boys and girls. Our letter for today was letter C. And C makes the sound K. C as in cat. C as in car. C as in carrot which is very healthy for you to use. C as in cow. Now, I want you to look around your house, look around your room, and think of other things that you know begin with letter C. You can ask your mom, you could ask your dad, or anyone at home to help you spell those words as you learn more words that begin with letter C. And remember to write into us here at the Guyana Learning Channel and share what you would have done today. Send in some of the new words that you would have found that begin with letter C, and we will open them on our mailbox day. So to all my adventure friends, I am Captain Nella Singh. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Read, where we continue to read, where we continue to read, enjoy, and discover something new every time we meet as we soar the literacy skies. See you next time. Wow.